You may have noticed yourself or read on forums that how well an earphone seals in your ear makes a huge difference to the sound, most obviously to the bass response, but also overall clarity. Now, several foam tips are available commercially from companies like Comply. However, they don't come cheap, need to be replaced every few weeks or months to maintain their seal and for comfort and hygiene reasons. Well, today I'll show you a very simple way to make custom foam tips of your own at a fraction of the price. You can see and hear for yourself how they sound right now. Welcome to GI Chow. So what do they sound like? Well, I thought it would be difficult to record the effect. However, I moulded my fingers securely around the earphone tips and microphone to simulate an ear canal and was surprised to find a fairly clearly audible difference. Right, so you simply take one of a pair of foam earplugs, drill or bore a hole through it, so some of the material is removed, and inserting the nozzle of the earphone through it becomes easier. Cut the ear tip in half with a sharp knife or Stanley blade. So from a pair of foam earplugs, you actually get two pairs of these ear tips. And then you simply remove the old ear tip and put the homemade foam ear tip on. Takes a little bit of working. And there you go a set of foam earphone tips for a fraction of the price of those available commercially. Amazon shows these from £1.50 to £6 per pair, but using even branded earplugs, they work out at under 10 pence per pair. Now these homemade tips don't have a central plastic core within the ball. However, I've been satisfied with the sound from tips where the foam doesn't extend much past the nozzle. You could potentially cannibalize the tube from an existing conventional set of tips, and pass that through the foam. Of course, make sure the tips sit securely on the nozzle to avoid their coming off in your ear. Now with foam tips, isolation improves and that works two ways. You hear less of the outside world and more of your music and at the same time those around you hear less of your music so you disturb them less. The downside is a loss of environmental awareness. So these and earphones generally are not ideal for use in traffic. However, the upside for your hearing is that you should be able to hear your music much more clearly at a lower volume. No need to crank up the volume to drown external sounds out. You can experiment with different tip lengths and hole sizes. One thing I've noticed is that a perfect seal can result in a muddier sound if there is no venting. So maybe there's an optimal level of seal. These KZ so-called star tips have ridges, which I think allow some of the sound pressure in the ear canal to be released and so improve the clarity of the sound. Who knows, this could be the start of your own sound modification journey with an appreciation that manufacturers who have no choice but to manufacture one version of each of their products aren't necessarily the sacrosanct arbiters of sound quality. And by the way, 
reworking your existing audio gear rather than buying new is good for the environment too. Why not check out my other videos on equaliser apps, earphone tips and sound path shaping for more free and cheap ways to get the most from your existing earphones and headphones. So folks, there you go. What do you think? Let everyone know in a comment below. And if you found this video useful, you can help others find it by liking or commenting or subscribing below. But for now, you all take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.